Okay, so I had some stuff I was selling on Facebook Marketplace. I don't do Craigslist a whole lot anymore. But anyway, regardless. You see these black dots? That's black mold because what happened is I had it in a bin outside on my deck during the summer. I really needed the space, which is why I'm trying to get rid of the stuff. Good stuff, actually. Brand new. Never used, right? So it got wet in the box. And... uh I don't believe they have this until I put it in my bathroom where my light bulb doesn't work. I'm, I'm, I need an electrician, but uh, it's been pretty rel unreliable. Some sources and uh, people take your money and run. So anyway, regardless, I just use a lamp in my bathroom. So this grew, okay, in my bathroom. All right, so what did I do? I... Uh, Washed it off with, put some gloves on, washed it off with some peroxide water. And uh, hopefully it laying out in the sun would take it away. <clears throat> now also, I decided to start spitting everything I could possibly spit because I may have had some spores within my nasal passages. So I used the Neti, Neti, uh, I have a Neti cup but I use something better which is a syringe because it allows you to throw water on both uh, of your um, you know up your nose right on both sides so anyway I thank God for the wisdom he has given me I always maintain netty stuff here I have the regular netty cup as well so this is um, the syringe I use I got it from Amazon years ago I use it on so many things I ever want to shoot water up anywhere. Actually, I've done it in my ear also, which I probably should do soon. Uh, now, this is called Yeti salt because Neti pot is obviously um, a trademark. So they put make it Yeti instead of Neti. So I get this from the dollar store. Frankly, I'm not sure I trust. This is from California. It could be from China as well because unfortunately everything's from China. So I'm really careful as to what I trust. It was made in the USA, so that's good. Okay. So I'm going to buy uh, carbonate, which is baking soda. Oh, so it's not really made of salt. It's low sodium chloride. Quite interesting. Okay, so I keep spitting up because um, I think maybe it's not a bad idea, even though I already did the netty wash. So I... If you've heard about neti wash, this is this is what to use. It's used only on the right no nozzle, <laughs> your right side of the nose. And um, you could only pour it from there. I don't know why you can't pour it from the left. Well, you know, I, I, I spurt shoot this on both sides of my nose and nothing's ever happened to me. I don't know, there's, there's, there's a negative connotation if you shoot it up the left. <laughs> But the water still comes down sometimes, you know, like I, I you, you should, like I, I bend as much as I can to bring whatever water may be remaining. And then I stand up and often enough water comes out, but today it didn't. So I used the salt. I poured some hot water in, in into the cup just a little bit so it could dissolve. Uh, typically it's made so it could dissolve, but this is bicarbonate. So instead of salt, it's not a bad idea to use bicarbonate. Yeah, it's a good thing I read that, the instructions. Why you, I mean, bicarbonate is very good. It removes toxins and all that. Um, actually, it, it, it increases the pH balance and could cure fruit from uh, Monsanto's if, if you soak it in bicarbonate, by the way. So anyway, I thank God for the God-given wisdom that I have and the preparedness that I have to always heal myself. So anyway, if this looks strange to you, uh, I was wet cupping myself now these cups are used for a lot of things for massaging uh it kind of like sucks the the air <coughs> and the, and the blood and you can move it around while it's sucking the blood so masseuses use this also you could use also just dry cupping where you keep it there they do this on swimmers and that's why you see round red circles on their backs sometimes uh because they're trying to isolate the toxins i wouldn't i don't care to do dry cupping why not just uh, poke some holes in, uh, on the skin and let the bad blood come out, right? The toxins come out. And uh, this thing over here, 
the metal part in the green, that green thing comes out. I only have one hand, so I'm not going to do it for you right now. But um, I, this serves sort of like a, as a magnet to bringing up the blood. I think because the blood has, uh, I don't really think this is a magnet per se. I don't know. But it helps for the blood to come up into the suction cup. So I've done it with and without. And there's a method for every madness, okay? So the way you do this is... Okay, I'm trying to do everything with one hand here. Oh, my goodness, crying out loud. So you just stick this in here, and that's it. Look, stick it in there. And then you attach it to a, your skin in an area of your body that it will allow you to suction. So I encourage you if you get this it's really only like 17 dollars you get it from ebay unfortunately it does come from china and is actually a chinese i call it medicine even though it's not medicine but it's a, it's chinese th theory i believe in self-healing and um so it's only about 17 dollars and you get different size cups and so you you pump it okay with this manual part you pump it and then the skin comes up it comes in and it's suctioned in so I might as well poke it so the bad blood comes out let the toxins come out right and I gave you an illustration of that earlier on another film uh, because my bras were fitting me too tight and who knows what causes breast cancer but I wouldn't be surprised if the blood is not circulating very well underneath your breath probably uh, underneath underneath your breast Probably because it's too tight on you or you, you always have a bra on. Like me, I've always even slept with it. Um, it actually helps the boobs from that, you know, hanging. But anyway, um, the downfall is what I discovered, right? Some blood doesn't circulate because you always have like a pretty much a tourniquet around your chest, right? Just beneath the bra and it doesn't let the blood flow too good. Now, it's been bugging me for, for a few months. Finally, I said, time to get out my gadget. And you saw the earlier film. What it did was I sucked out some bad blood that was coagulating. And I felt the bump there. It wasn't a pimple. It wasn't a blackhead. Um, so it was really just blood coagulating there. So normally, typically, I would think you would feel it. Or it will bother you because where, where there is blood coagulating, you will feel pain or discomfort. So don't get too nervous. And uh, that's it. So I'm actually going to get a mammography because I, I'm not one that does it every year. It's been almost two years. Uh, so it's time for me to do it since this came up. And it's good that I suck that bad blood first because I don't want that to be shown on the MRI or whatever machine they use. Uh, because then they'll spot it out and think you got... You know, I got some breast cancer or something. And um, I want the aftermath anyway. See if everything's clear anyway. Thank you for watching and have a great day.